Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a general reading for the sign of Virgo. These messages will be for the remainder of November. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? General messages for Virgo. Okay, I have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. I have the Five of Swords in the reverse, Strength in the reverse, and the Moon in the reverse. Okay, I have the sun in the reverse. Let's get one more message. And I have the magician and the empress. Okay, so I feel that for some of you, you are not able to manifest a connection. It's like you saw this person as someone you could spend the rest of your life with, someone who was very nurturing, caring, someone who you could raise your children with, build a very stable future with. But it's like this was not able to come together. You did not get the happy ending that you were expecting. Something was revealed to you about this person and that is why you chose to remove yourself from this relationship. It's like you gave up with this five of swords in the reverse. You had to give up on this connection and you did not find the emotional fulfillment that you were seeking. So let's go deeper. So spirit, give me a message for the nine of cups in the reverse. Yes, it's like you were no longer confident when it came to the energy and effort you were putting in. It's like you were pouring into something that was empty and you did not get equal give and take when it came to this relationship. This relationship was very one-sided for some of you. It's like you thought this person was the empress, but this person was actually the empress in reverse. They portrayed themselves as the empress. They portrayed themselves as someone who was stable, who wanted the same things you wanted out of a relationship, out of life in general. But this person was on a completely different page from you. I have the nine of wands. Yes, you are very guarded. It's like you're guarding your emotions because you have put so much energy into this relationship and you do not want to be disappointed again. I heard not open to love. Some of you are very closed off when it comes to relationships. You're just choosing to focus on yourself. You're playing it safe. Let's get a message for the five of swords and the reverse. I have the hermit. Yes, Virgo, this is you. This is your energy. 
you're doing a lot of reflecting. You're doing a lot of reflecting on your past choices, your decisions, and you're really going within. Because I do feel that some of you want to change your perspective when it comes to relationships, when it comes to connections. It's like you do want marriage, you do want family, and you realize that this person wasn't able to give it to you, but you don't want that to hinder any of your future relationships. That is why you are choosing to work on yourself so that you can break down those walls and fully be open to love. Let's get a message for strength in the reverse. I have the King of Pentacles, yes. I feel that a lot of you rerouted your energy onto yourself and you started focusing on things that were going to make you stable, financially secure, financially independent. So instead of focusing on being in a relationship, it's like you may have started focusing on a business idea trying to build stability, trying to build a very strong foundation so that in the future, you will have the financial security that you are seeking. So let's get a message for the moon in the reverse. So yes, it's like instead of trying to focus on being in a commitment, you just chose to commit to your work. Because it's like you had almost given up on relationships. And you never thought that you would find someone who was going to be your equal. I have the Ten of Wands. Yes, the moon. Whatever was revealed to you, you chose to go in a new direction. And look at her. She has her, her brief her suitcase her wand, and she's just moving right along. You know that this relationship did not benefit you. This person was being very deceptive. For some of you, they had you in a third party situation and you knew that you deserved more. You really gave this person your all, you poured into this connection and you were pouring into something that was empty. This person was incapable of providing you with the fulfillment that you wanted. Let's get a message for the sun in the reverse. I have the Empress. Yes, we have the Empress twice. You really wanted to be with this person. This is someone that you were thinking about marrying or you may have even proposed, but you wanted to build a very strong foundation with this person in terms of family, in terms of creating a life with each other, building, growing together being one, being completely connected emotionally, mentally, spiritually. You saw this person as your divine counterpart. For some of you, you may even have children with this person, but it's like they could not be the person you needed them to be. They were still in a selfish energy they wanted to have things their way. They wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. They wanted to do what made them happy instead of doing what was best for the relationship. And I heard third party, yes, some of them, they were dealing with other people. They were not ready to settle down. 
They could not give you the commitment that you wanted. It's like, yes, you were happy with them, but it's like you never fully reached, or I should say the relationship never fully reached its complete potential. Let's get a message for the magician. I have the Ace of Cups. Yes, you wanted this. This is what you were seeking. Complete emotional fulfillment. Happiness. An authentic attachment. One that was real. One that you didn't have to force. But you found yourself forcing. Forcing this relationship. When that was something you didn't want. You wanted a relationship that was balanced. Equal give and take. But this person did not give that to you. I heard waste of time. Some of you feel like you wasted your time with this person. Let's get a message for the Empress. And I also feel that for some of you, even though you were not able to manifest the connection that you wanted with this past relationship, you have someone new coming in. You may have already met this person. It's like you have your eyes on this person. And you're very hopeful that things are going to work out. It's like you're trusting the process when it comes to this new connection. This person is very different from your previous relationship. And you see a future with them. You actually feel that, yes, maybe finally my prayers were answered. Maybe finally I have someone in my life who I can grow with. Because I'm just looking at these two empresses. So this is like your past relationship where you thought she was an empress, but she wasn't. Or he wasn't. Because we're dealing with energy, feminine energy. But it's like spirit came and gave you a true empress. The real thing. The real deal. Someone who you could spend the rest of your life with. Someone who is balanced. Someone who doesn't mind putting in the necessary energy and effort to make this connection work. Yep, there's nothing like the real thing. Once you have the real thing, then you would know, you would be able to tell right away what is fake. And this person wasn't the real thing. And I heard use, for some of you, this person wanted to use you for what you could do for them. They were just there to take advantage of you. I have the Ten of Swords. Looking at the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, it's like you left this past situation to walk towards your own happiness. And in your journey you ended up walking right towards a true empress it's like two different phases in your life 
Ten of Wands going on a journey, still seeking, still trying to find the answer. And then when you get to the Ten of Swords, you've already found the answer. You know what you're looking for. You have clarity. You now see the situation for what it is. You see life for what it is. And you start focusing on yourself and doing what is best for you. And in that process, Spirit gifts you with your divine counterpart because you did the work. And you left behind things that did not serve you. So let's get one more message. I have patience. It says, patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust. You are eternally loved and guided. I'm going to go back to where it says you will eventually eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. Yes. The fact that this previous relationship didn't work out was a blessing for you. A blessing in disguise. Because spirit needed you to take a journey. You needed to take a walk onto a new path so that you can get to this tent of swords. In a whole new environment, a whole new atmosphere, a new energy, so that you will be able to fully call in the things that you want for your life. This happened for a reason. This happened for your growth. This happened so that you can have fulfillment. The last message that I have is Guardian Angel. It says, trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you. Yes, have patience. Wait. Spirit says waiting. Some of you are still waiting. Continue to work on yourself while you wait. Your dreams will get answered at the right time. Just have patience. God hears your prayers. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.